For millions upon millions of years, life has persevered. Through extinctions uncountable, the natural world has found a way to live and thrive. Ice ages, global famines, even a bloody meteor could not stop the engine of life from churning out beating hearts and breathing lungs. 252 million years ago, to the Permian animals, the great dying was the end of the world. 65 million years ago, to the dinosaurs, the bloody meteor was the end of the world. And to the many species wiped out by humanity's expansion into world dominance, to the woolly mammoth, the Syrian elephant, the saber-tooth, the dodo, and to our 15 fellow human species that were lost to the wayside, we were the end of the world. The world has ended a thousand ways for a thousand species, and yet... Here we are. With our vast, glittering cities, with our unimaginable technology, and a drive to expand that put us on the fucking moon. We are power and might and will, and we are indestructible. I mean, what did they know about the end of the world, huh? They're stupid, self-obsessed. It was never the end of the world. It was only the end of their world. And when the next era began, and the world continued to turn, and evolution refilled the seas and valleys and forests and hills with nature and life once more, it may not have been the same nature as before, not the same dominant species, but it was there, it was back. The world and life itself was never over. I mean, with that in mind, it's a jolly good thing we're not faced with something that would spell the end of our own mighty indestructible species if left unchecked, right? 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 The terrifying privilege humanity has is that we know the end is coming. We can see it. The science knows it's real and imminent. The climate crisis will spell the end of the world. It will flood our cities, dry our crop fields, drain our potable water. It will propel humanity into extinction and violence if left to run rampant. Our constant consuming, draining, building, burning, plastic in the ocean filling shit is going to kill us and our natural world. We're destroying our planet and the unfortunate creatures that inhabit it with us. I mean, this isn't speculation. This is hard fact. We know it's coming. The end of the fucking world is laid right before us, and oh shit, this is it, ladies and gents. It's our last night to lie as a species, and the whole world is gonna die and burn and drown, and it's gonna be all our fault, and it's gonna be the end of the world, and oh. Except it won't, will it? The world won't end. The climate crisis won't stop the earth from spinning. It won't stop the cogs of evolution from turning and churning out beating hearts and breathing lungs. It won't be the end of the world. It'll simply be the end of ours. For our natural world, in the grand scheme of things, our annihilation will not bother them. If we don't curb the crisis we have created, and we do turn our cities to ash, and our technology fails us, and our drive to explore sputters out lifeless, and we never reach beyond the surface of our little glittering world again, it won't bother them. We've seen it before too. Remember, March 2019, as COVID began to spread, and we all hid indoors, abandoning our public spaces for a good couple of months. What happened? Carbon levels dropped, skies cleared, and with the space to move around and clean air to breathe, nature had a brief moment to rebound and reconquer. It didn't take them long at all to begin exploring the spaces they never could before, coming from out in the wilds into our cities to have a, just a little nose around, honestly. I mean, it didn't take them long at all. Imagine what will happen when we're gone for good. We have the hubris to imagine that the end of our world will be the end of the world. But it won't. Time will march on, and nature will come back. It might not be the same nature as before, but it'll take over again, as it has a thousand times prior. The weeds will crack the pavement, the hedgerows will expand their borders, and the rivers will restore their courses. Life will come back, 
It'll recover and repopulate and reconquer the globe in our absence. Our annihilation will not bother them. I am great Ozymandias, saith the stone, the king of kings. This mighty city shows the wonders of my hand. The city's gone, naught but the leg remaining to disclose the sight of this forgotten Babylon. We wonder, and some hunter may express, wonder like ours, when through the wilderness, where London stood, holding the wolf in chase, he meets some fragment huge, and stops to guess what powerful but unrecorded race once dwelt in that annihilated place. The natural world does not have to survive humanity. It simply must outlast us. And at the rate that we're charging into the moor of infinity, they won't have to wait long, will they? <laughs>